you guys, I just wanted to say a huge thank you for the outpouring of love and support that you guys have given me since I returned to YouTube. I have put up two videos now, but this is the first video I've filmed since actually putting anything on YouTube. And I just, I'm just so touched. Um, you all have been so kind and you've left such beautiful comments and messages and I really really appreciate it. I feel very welcomed and um, just, I don't know, just really excited to be getting back and doing this thing again. It is kind of, it feels like a big deal after so long and it feels really weird to be chatting to a camera again so I feel like it's taken me a while to kind of get my feet but um, I don't know, just to be able to come on and have um, just so many kind people and so many of you who I recognize, some of you who are brand new who are popping on and saying hello and it's just amazing. So thank you so much for that. So today I wanted to share with you some of my favorite incense stick stick incenses for spell work, for magic and spell work. So I love incense. I burn incense constantly, all day, every day. And I have a lot of different favorites, but there are some which I burn only for magical purposes. There are a lot that I love that I just burn because I like them, but these are ones that I use specifically for spell work and magic. So I wanted to share them with you and share with you how I use them. Um, and maybe this will give you some ideas. I would also love to hear the different incense sticks that you use for different magical spells and whatever magics that you're doing. I know that a lot of people, uh, well I've heard, I remember back in the day, a lot of people talking about how they didn't like to burn stick incense for magical purposes. They only burnt loose incense. Um, I do both. I, generally speaking, I make pretty well all of the loose incenses that I burn. I actually have some that I've purchased over the years, but I tend to go to my own uh, because then, you know, they're really customized and they're exactly what I need and want for whatever the purpose is. But this today, I love stick incense. One, because it smells gorgeous. Two, because it's so easy to just, you know, grab out of the box, pop in. Um, if I am using it for spell work, of course, I always enchant it first. So I'll hold it in my hands, put my intention into it, and then I will burn it. Um, but it's just, I don't know, I love stick incense. <laughs> and I really like it for magical purposes. I think scent magic is such a powerful thing. You know, it really gets us into a certain state of mind. And it gets us into the energy of different things, you know, depending on what the scent is. So I really like using them for magic as well. So as we go along, if any pop out to you or if you think of different things, let me know down below um, because I would really love to hear how you use incense sticks in magic. We'll, in future, we'll talk about loose incenses and things like that and I might share a few different blends and things with you. I think that'll be fun. Um, but for today, it's all about the stick incense. So first we have one of my most favorite incenses for scent as well as its magical purpose. And that is Open Roads Incense. Now it's specifically the red Open Roads. I hope that lighting is okay there. I think it's okay. And this is by SAC, S-A-C, I don't know, that brand. Now I've said, I found these on Amazon and they, um, I got the last two boxes that they had available for Australia in the red. So they've got blue ones up there. And I know with a lot of, well, with Hem in particular, they have, um, so they'll have Dragon's Blood, for example, in blue and red, and they smell different. So I don't know if the other open roads smell different or not. I suspect that they do. If you know, let me know, please, if you've tried them. Um, so I'm, I'm like, I've got two boxes left, well this open one and another one, and I use them sparingly because I just, they just smell so divine and they just work so, so well. So, of course, open roads. This is for creating opportunity. This is for opening up your path. So if you have something in the way, or if you're doing some kind of spell work, this is the way I use it, if you're doing some kind of spell work and there's been some kind of small blockage, I will burn open roads along with that spell to kind of open the way and open the path for whatever my magic is to come through. It can also be used on its own. So if you are doing an open opening road spell or way opener or whatever it is you want to call it, then open roads incense is brilliant for that as well. So I like to use it when I am 
If I'm creating an open roads formula as well, I will also use the incense. I'll have it burning in the space and I will, um, you know, I was going to say smoke cleanse, but it's not cleansing, but pour, you know, put all the smoke into my ingredients and tools and that just to infuse that energy of open roads. And kind of another one which goes along with this is the Ganesh incense. And this is by him. And it's, it's beautiful, of course. I just, oh, I love it. <laughs> I love Ganesh. Um, and Ganesh is the way opener as well. He is an obstacle remover. So it works in very much the same way. So if you had found this one, it has that same energy as the Open Roads Incense as well. So the next one I really love is Fast Luck. So this again smells absolutely amazing. And I'm always tempted to just burn it for its scent, but I always put a little something into it before I do. Now, fast luck is brilliant in my mind for quick little miracles. So if I'm doing like a quick spell, like I want something done now, uh, what is it? Last minute luck. I feel like that's, that's what it's really good for. So if it's like, I need something done now, I need someone to call me, I need something to go through, you know, I will enchant this and then I will burn a stick of this. Um, I also like this for, uh, like what I've used it for is like, okay, so when I go to shopping, right, I do not like going to the shops and going shopping. I hate it, in fact. <laughs> I always find it really difficult to find what I want. I much prefer online shopping, uh, just being at home, I'm there, I can find what I need, you know, but sometimes when you need clothes or whatever or something a little bit more urgently, got to go to the shops, right? So I like to actually burn one of these before I go to get that little miracle of being able to find what it is that I need because I hate walking around shops and trying to find stuff. I just want to go in and get what I need and go home, you know? So I find this is really good for like that kind of magic, like just quick little things, um, you know, putting a little uh, wish or a little manifestation into one of these and burning it is a really great little magic. All right, the next one is another favorite, of course. <laughs> I'm showing you all my favorites, Black Magic. I love this for any kind of darker works. So of course, you know what I mean. But also like, so for anything where you need that like, uh, like a real depth of energy, like strong will. So I will use it for darker works, but also anything that feels more serious, if that makes sense. So if I'm just needing that like harumph kind of energy, I don't know how else to put it, but like just the really deep energy, I will burn this as well. It's really good to compel, and I feel like it has a really similar energy to the Herb Calamus. So kind of that, um, yeah, just that real compulsion energy, um, very deep, resonant, deep energy um, with this one. The next one's kind of on the opposite end of the scale, <laughs> and that is Moldavite. I love this. I'm gonna, I literally, I'm saying that about every single one. I've got to stop saying it, I think, because it's probably annoying to hear. I love this, I love this. But this one is like high vibe really high vibrational. So I find it really great for inviting in those high vibrational spirits. Uh, so angelic spirits, um, probably not the Fae. I was thinking the Fae, maybe it, it depends how you work with the Fae, I guess. Uh, but any kind of those high vibe spirits, um, I find they come in really well with this scent burning. I also find it's really great for lifting the energy of a space. So I like burning this after I have cleansed and cleared my area, particularly my home. I like to really put this into my home and infuse my home with this particular energy. Um, really, really positive and I really like it for prosperity work as well. So um, just those really positive, like yes, magnetic kind of vibes. I really like the Moldavite incense for. And of course it doesn't have real Moldavite in it, but whatever it is energetically, it works really, really beautifully. Just need to have a little drink. Mm. I've been burning a lot of incense in here today. And so now my mouth's a little dry. <laughs> so the next one I have is a classic. And I'm sure many of you will have heard it, and that is Pagan Magic. This was my very first magical incense, and so every time I burn it, it just takes me straight back to those first budding days of being a witch and like, you know, casting spells in my room and just like, oh, just that, that beautiful innocence, you know, that I had way back when. 
now I know so much more <laughs> but it just yeah it really takes me back but I find that it's just such a good general all-purpose um, you know incense for magic so if I'm wanting a bit of extra support a bit of extra boost in any working that I'm doing I will burn a bit of pagan magic now the next one is kind of along the same veins but um, it smells very different and that is bewitching so this is by Kamini, Kamini Aromatics. I'm not sure about that. It's an Indian brand. I'll have links for all of these down below as well, so you can go have a look. So if you can't, I think you can see properly, but just in case. Um, this is a beautiful, beautiful incense, and I like this. This, this is like a general all-purpose incense as well, except I don't tend to burn this one while I'm spell casting necessarily, but what I do is I'll burn it to like set the mood for my day. And I do this with other incenses that I'm not sharing today, but specifically for magic. So if I, if it's the day of the full moon, for example, and I know I've got work coming up, like I'm going to be doing all this stuff later in the evening, whatever it is, I will burn this during the day just to kind of get that energy happening, get that vibe happening. And honestly, I always end up having a truly tremendous magical experience of some kind on that day. When I put that intent into it, of course, and then burn it, it's just beautiful. And it's just a delightful scent in and of itself. So even if you just like have it burning, like it's, it's beautiful. I love, love, love this incense. Okay, the next one I have is White Sage. Now I've got two different brands of this one that I really like. Are these? Yeah, they're the right way. <laughs> um, neither of them really smells like White Sage. I actually love the smell of White Sage. I know it's kind of like in vogue now to hate the scent or whatever, um, but I, I, I don't get that. Like I love Burning Sage. But these two incenses have a very similar energy, um, a very similar energetic signature to sage, but they smell quite different. So each of them smells very different to each other. They both have quite a sweet scent. Let me see if I can open this. Which way it opens? This way. Whoops. So yeah, this one's a lot more perfumey. Sorry, that way. So this brand is... No, I'm not saying that. <laughs> I'm not even going to try. It's this brand. And then this one's the um, Satya, which you get like the uh, traditional or the classic Nag Champa comes in this brand. And they have a lot of great incenses. I didn't used to find a lot of their stuff around, but all of the $2 stores that I frequent now... Oh, sorry, all this sniffing is like making my nose really itchy. Um, all of the $2 stores I frequent now actually sell a lot of these, um, you know, different... Uh, different scents in this brand which is awesome so I'm trying out the different ones these are always lovely like which I, I have not smelled a scent from these um, this brand that I haven't liked a lot of them are very sweet smelling really lovely um, so if you see these around they're always a good bet um, but the white sage I like for cleansing so I will burn these um, if I'm just wanting a gentle cleanse of my space so if I don't need to go whole hog with like um, like straight herbs um, then I will burn one of these if I just kind of want a little gentle thing I tend to burn these a lot in the middle of the day so when I'm working and I'm just starting to feel a little bit like ugh, bogged down I'll light one of these up and that really helps to just like clear the energy and reset me a little bit they're also really good I find for wisdom as well so bringing in that wisdom so they're really wonderful to burn when you're doing any kind of divination there are other scents which are probably um, you know maybe better uh, of course everyone's gonna have their own preferences but these are really good to set that tone and to just welcome in that kind of um, spiritual wisdom as well all right next we have again one of my favorites <laughs> I used to burn this one all the time just for its scent but then I began and this is years ago but then I began actually using it magically and so now I always use it with purpose and that is white rose what's it called Rosa Blanca <laughs> I obviously do not speak Spanish this has a really I'm gonna say like a mature rose scent it's not super perfumey it burns really beautifully I am quite picky with rose scents I do really like the smell of real roses, but as for, you know, incenses and things like that, I, it's a bit hit and miss for me, but this is one that I really, really like. Um, it's not too strong. It's just, it's a really, really lovely scent. So I use this obviously for love, but I find this like a very sort of 
calm, steady love. So this isn't like the va -voom, passionate, like lustful, you know, but it's that really steady, calm, you know, we're married, we love each other, you know, that really, that depth of love. That's what I find the energy of this one to be. I also find it really good for family harmony. So this is another one that I'll burn throughout my house to induce that sense of calm and peacefulness and cohesiveness between everyone in the home. And I've had a lot of beautiful success with that. I also will pair this. It's not the greatest, I'm going to say scent wise. I'm still, I've got to play with, I think, a different rose for this, but it works magically really well. And that is pairing it with cinnamon. So cinnamon, of course, is that um, drawing and attraction energy. Very, very magnetic cinnamon. And the two together create that really passionate kind of love. And I've had um, a lot of success with burning this in the bedroom. So one of each stick together. Um, so that's a little tip there, but I, yeah, I'm going to play around with the, with some different rose scents, matching it with the cinnamon. Again, amazing energetically, but not my favorite scent. Although, you know, other people might really like it, but that's a little tip. So I add those together and then we get that really passionate, fiery, beautiful, lustful love. Okay, so the next one is two again. Um, now, we have to add some prosperity in here, right? We did have the Moldavar with prosperity, but these are specific prosperity blends, both by Hem, and that is Call Money. Hang on, let me get it the right way. Call Money, somewhere there. <laughs> I can't see properly because of the light in my face. And Attracts Money. So I find call money is really good to burn for a specific amount. So if there is a specific manifestation that you need, some kind of dollar amount, you need a bill paid, you know, whatever it is, call money is a really good one to use. And then attracts money seems to be really good for like a general prosperity. So when you're kind of working a prosperity altar or a general working of some kind, um, you know, for just boosting up that energy in your life, you know, greater prosperity, greater abundance, attracts money um, you know works really well there is one of them I like better burning I actually can't figure which it is that smells different quite different when it's burning but um, I think it's the attracts money I actually like better as a general kind of scent because this box is a lot lighter <laughs> so um, but these are really really great for any kind of money magic that you're doing um, really really powerful for pro any prosperity magic so there's a little tip and last but definitely not least is dragon's blood yes so i've got again two here so this was the satya one which is upside down and then hem and the red hem obviously hem has a couple of different dragon's bloods but this is the one i like best uh this one is a lot sweeter it's it doesn't smell like dragon's blood to me at all, but it has that gorgeous energy and I just really like it as well. Um, so I've got that one there. More just to show you, I tend to burn that as a little bit more of a general incense. Um, sometimes I do put intention into it, you know, to burn it. Sorry, I'm looking over there because that's where my burner is. <laughs> um, but to burn for magic, um, but I tend to like this one best. This one I really love using with the Horned God. So Dragon's Blood is great for adding potency to, again, any spell work, any kind of magic that you're doing. It's really good for protection. I like it for cleansing as well. Although I tend, if I'm using it for any kind of cleansing, I will use it in tandem with something else. So usually this is a bit more heavy duty. So I will burn um, a, a bundle of herb. So I really like rosemary or sage. Rosemary, I feel is a lot more heavy duty though. So I'll go in with the rosemary and then burn dragon's blood as well. Um, and those two together, just divine. So it is really good for expelling evil, negativity, that kind of stuff as well. So there we have it. There's 10 incenses and how you can use them in your magic. So when you are actually using them, as I said, what I like to do is I will hold them in my hands and I'll put my intention into them before burning them. Now you can just pop them into a burner and just burn them in space. 
Um, I have, I'll just show you, I don't know why you need to see it, but a burner. So I've got a little coffin here. You can put them on a little stick thing. If you don't have an incense burner, you can just pop them in a piece of fruit. Like just stick them into a piece of fruit or a little bit of blue tack or like whatever, right? Something that will just kind of hold it. Sand, you can do in some dirt, you know, just whatever. It doesn't matter. I like burning on my little coffin on my altar just because it keeps all the ash in there. And I actually collect the ash and I will use it for other stuff as well. But yes, yeah, so you just burn it in space. Um, and it's also really good to, if you are um, creating, you know, some kind of formula or something like that, to actually, um, you know, you put the stick inside the bottle a little bit before you put anything in there, just to infuse it with that energy, you know, whatever it is that you're doing, um, you know, waft it around your spells. Like if you're burning a candle, says so the candle, wafting it around the candle, um, you can do it clockwise, anti-clockwise, depending on the spell that you're doing. You can um, waft it around your tools and ingredients, around yourself as well, you know, up and down and all around your body as if you were smoke cleansing. Um, but it can be used, again, depending on what it is, to expel or to bring in. So if you were, what I do is when I'm doing it on my body, for example, if I'm bringing something in, I go from feet up to my head, okay? So I bring the smoke from down and go up, bringing in, focusing on what I'm bringing in. And if I'm getting rid of something, I will go from top down to the bottom to get rid of, you know, whatever it is. So I would love to know, what are your favorite stick and incenses for magic? And if you want to tell me, because I just, I'm happy to just chat incense, what are your favorite incenses as well? As I said, I have other ones that I haven't mentioned here today, and I don't know, maybe we'll chat about them at some point. Um, but yeah, let me know, what are your favorite incenses just for incense? Perhaps they kind of get you in a magical mood, they might be an all-purpose incense, or perhaps it's something very specific that you burn them for. I would love to know. I would love to hear that below. Let's all nerd out on incense for a while, shall we? I always love getting new suggestions as well. So I always keep an eye out and I love to hear what people are enjoying and I'll pick it up the next time I see it or I'll find it online or whatever. So do let me know. As I said, all the links for everything, um, all the incenses are down below. If there was one that caught your eye, I'll put them in the order that I've spoken about them. But I look forward to hearing about your incenses down in the comments and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I'm wishing you so much love and many, many blessings.